and welcome to another Diecast Restos Custom. I'm Jason and this time I have a Corgi Juniors Porsche 935 in for improvement. This casting was produced by Corgi in the 1980s and was even adopted by Hot Wheels following Mattel's takeover in 1994. These lasted until 1998. I'm going to be customising this model to recreate a classic Le Mans race livery. These are the Martini Porsche decals of the number 41935 from 1977, plus I have some custom diecast details wheels. The decals are from Le Mans decals and I will leave a link to them and diecast details in the video description. For 1976, the FIA hosted two World Endurance Championships, the World Championship for makes for Group 5 Special Production Cars and the World Sports Car Championship for Group 6 Prototypes. Porsche would develop and enter the 935 for Group 5 and the 936 for Group 6. Group 5 offered silhouette rules, where significant modifications to the car were allowed as long as it retained the basic silhouette of the production car when viewed from the front. The modifications could include bodywork changes, larger wings, wider axles and water cooling. The 935 would be powered by a 561 horsepower version of their regular 3 litre flat 6. Capacity was reduced to 2.85 litres with a turbocharging penalty factor, allowing it to enter the 4 litre class. The minimum class weight was 970 kilograms, with the 935 weighing in at 900, allowing 70 kilos for weight distribution and balance. Along with the 934 and 911 RSR entries, Porsche took the top 7 positions in the 935's debut championship race at Mugello in 1976. This old corgi paint is tougher than it looks. Let's oust it with some liquid paint stripper. Back to the story. Jochen Mass and Jackie Ick strove the Martini liveried factory entry to first place at Mugello. The pair followed this up with a win at Vallelunga and the season ending event at Dijon, while Rolf Stommelen and Manfred Schurti won at Watkins Glen. These results eased Porsche to the World Championship for makes by 10 points over BMW. The 1976 24 Hours of Le Mans was a non-championship event, but being Le Mans, it was the real prize for Porsche. Ix and Heiss van Lennep drove the 936 to overall victory, while the 935 of Stommelen and Schurti qualified third and finished fourth overall, winning the Group 5 class. For 1977, Porsche focused on Le Mans and so withdrew the 936 from the World Sports Car Championship. They developed and built new 935s, dubbed the 935-77 for the World Championship for makes. After entering the old car at the season opening race at Daytona, the 935's body was changed significantly to lower drag. The front quarter panels now protruded above the hood and accommodated mirrors. The rear was also changed, but the main alteration was the addition of an extra rear window above the standard one. This enabled cleaner airflow to the rear wing, under which the single and later double turbo was located. Porsche successfully defended the World Championship for Makes title in 1977, winning at Mugello, Silverstone, Nürburgring, Watkins Glen, Brands Hatch and Hockenheim in the 935. At Le Mans that year, Group 5 was made up entirely of Porsches. In addition, they entered the 936 to Group 6. Porsche engineer Norbert Singer tweaked the 935's design to improve aerodynamics and reduce weight. The single turbo was now replaced by two smaller KKK turbos to reduce lag and increase power output to 630 horsepower. The 935 was now capable of 323 km per hour or 201 miles per hour down the Molzan Strait. Martini Porsche again entered Stommelen and Schurti into the factory number 41 car, the car I'm recreating here. Three customer teams also entered their 1976 spec 935s. In qualifying, Stommelen drove the 935 to 6th on the grid, 
the fastest Group 5 car. The race started well for the 41 car, as Stommelen was in second by the end of his first lap. But after just 8 laps, Stommelen was in the pits with a loose rocker arm losing oil. In that time, he lost 3 laps, and on exiting the pits, he managed to cruise for 16 laps before coming back in to top up with fluids. This continued for some time, but after 4 hours and 52 laps, the car was retired before nightfall. It was the fifth Porsche to retire from the race, including the number 3936 of Ix and Henri Pescarolo. All had retired with turbo or engine issues, and this continued to be a problem for Porsche throughout the night and into the following morning. Porsche did, however, just about manage to hold on to overall victory in the number 4936. It limped around the final moments of the race, despite a hole in one of the cylinders and disconnected turbos. A privateer 935 came home in third overall, winning the Group 5 class. Inexplicably, Porsche won in three different classes in 1977, despite the level of attrition. The final version of the 935 was developed for 1978. The 93578 was better known as Moby Dick, due to its white colour and huge tail extension. Porsche opted to watercool this iteration following the head gasket failures of its predecessor, doing away with their air-cooled tradition. Capacity was increased to 3.2 litres and it had 4 valves per cylinder. It now produced between 750 and 850 horsepower, and to aid weight distribution, the driver was seated on the right-hand side of the car. Taking advantage of loopholes, the entire floor pan of the 935 was cut away and the body lowered by 10 centimetres. The gearbox was also mounted upside down to reduce the angle of the drive shaft. Jackie Ix and Jochen Mass took pole, the fastest lap and the win in the 93578's test race, the six hours of Silverstone. The car's lap times were in fact just four seconds off that of James Hunt's McLaren Formula One car in the 1977 British Grand Prix. The Moby Dick qualified third for the 1978 24 Hours of Le Mans. It was just beaten by a Renault Alpine and the 936, both from Group 6. With its new 3.2 litre engine, it was the fastest car on the Molzan Strait, topping out at 367 km per hour or 228 miles per hour. Ahead of the race though, its engine had to be swapped. Drivers Stommelen and Scherti endured problems early in the race and eventually finished 8th overall, behind three customer 935s. With rule changes impending in 1982, Porsche did not enter a factory team to the 1979 or 1980 seasons. But a Kramer Racing 935 Evolution dubbed the K3 actually won the 1979 24 Hours of Le Mans outright. This made it only one of two cars between 1953 and 2023 to win and not be in the top prototype class. During its career, 935s won the 24 hours of Daytona and 12 hours of Sebring six times each, and won the 1000 kilometers of the Nürburgring three times. Porsche won the World Championship for makes each year from 1976 to 1979 with the car. Owing to its pedigree, Porsche developed a Tribute 935 second generation based on the 991 GT2 RS. It resembled the 93578 and 77 were to be produced. This was unveiled at the 2018 Rennsport reunion at Laguna Seca. It also appeared at the 2019 Goodwood Festival of Speed. You've been watching me recreate the Martini racing livery of the 1977 Le Mans car. Once again, I've chosen to recreate an exact car that didn't actually do all that well itself. But I chose to recreate the 1977 iteration as I think that the Corgi casting best resembles its features. It doesn't have the same swooping tail of the Moby Dick, and the bonnet is recessed due to the larger quarter wings, the same as the 93577. That limited my choice of pre-made decals a bit, but I don't care either way. It gives me an opportunity to learn and share the history of the entire 935 evolution. Besides, the quality of decals from Le Mans decals are the best I've found at 1 in 64 scale, period.
They are outstanding in detail, quality, adhesion and variety. It's not every day I get to recreate a Le Mans dnf -er. There'll be plenty of recreations of the class and overall winners out there, but far fewer of these whose stories may get overlooked. I'm not saying that's the case with the 935 as such, but it'd be easy to talk about the success of 1976 and leave it there. So with all that said and done, we're just about finished with this build as I'm putting the 935 back together. One thing to add here, I popped some styrene offcuts under the rear axle to lower it a bit as it was riding quite high. I'd have liked some larger rear wheels but you can't have it all. Here's a look at how my rather boring looking Corgi Junior's Porsche 935 was presenting earlier on. It suffers from being a bit unremarkable due in part I think to its lack of decent livery and its dull cloverleaf wheels. It wasn't in bad condition though and its old paint was very resilient as I struggled to remove it. It just needed livening up with a new livery and this is the result I came up with. This is my recreation of the Porsche 93577 factory entry to the 1977 24 Hours of Le Mans, driven by Rolf Stommelen and Manfred Scherti. It's wearing its distinctive and timeless Martini racing livery, which has been draped across a good but slightly inaccurate casting. As such, I've struggled to perfect the decal locations, particularly lining up the two sections of the Martini stripes to either side. I'm being critical, but the disc wheels, while fairly accurate, are just a bit too small at the rear. Unfortunately, I couldn't source these in a larger size. I did try to lower the rear some more to compensate, but this is as far as it could go. Let me know what you think in the comments, and leave a like if you want more epic racing tales like this. There's some 1977 Le Mans footage in the outro, so stick around for that, but all that leaves me to say is thanks for watching and I'll see you again for the next one. Bye for now.